what's good youtube this your boy chi world back at y'all again with another video and today i will be showing y'all how you can make a zombie grime using photoshop first of all i would like to start this video off by saying if you haven't already subscribed to the channel go ahead and do that now leave a like comment if you got any questions go ahead and feel free to ask me i'll get back to them as quick as possible let's jump right into it man the picture i drew i used for this tutorial was my homie from the north side you know what i'm saying 10 toes down you know how we rock it make sure y'all go follow my bro man i will have a link to his social media in the description below okay before i even start doing my artwork i make sure i have everything set up as far as my digital sketch pad i make sure i have my pressure sensitivity activated and you get to those options by clicking f5 i do not use a mouse when i'm doing line work because it'll be impossible to achieve these same type of lines you see how the lines go thick and smaller that's because i'm adding more pressure on certain parts than i do on other parts so you got to be able to have your pressure sensitivity and the only way you can have that is if you purchase your tablet i'm finna post a picture of a tablet you can get for a good price you can start out with and you'll be able to achieve the same exact look you don't gotta spend thousands of dollars you can spend it at least 80 and get you a good one the grimes are real easy to do bro it's all about just adding drips wherever you think they should go Just trace the whole figure of the person that you're doing. Leave their clothes alone. Don't trace the clothes. Just do their hands, they they face, and just trace the outlines. And then in the inside, that's when you add just all kinds of random drips. And you can add bugs or whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? Just give it some flavor. You know what I'm saying? Main thing I do, I make sure I trace the outline of everything on his face on his hands i trace that first before i go in and start adding drips so first thing you want to do is go ahead and get that out the way then everything else is just on you it's like what you prefer you know what i'm saying so you can add a lot of drips or you can add just a few of them but i try to add a lot Cause it look, it just look, it just make it look dope, man. When you got a lot of stuff going on in the picture. After you finish doing all your line work, then it's time to add that color, man. It's trying, it's time to make it pop. And you make it pop <laughs> by using bright neon colors to make it stand out. You make make sure you use a bright neon, like a, a hot pink, a hot orange, or a bright blue. Or, just any bright colors it'll make it pop because after you color it or oh, after you put your base color down you're gonna go back and add a shade And now we about to get right into the shading part. The first thing you want to do, man, is click the color you want to start with. Make that a little darker and you start adding your shadow. So I'm going to start with the eyes first. You see how I left a bright spot in there? It just give it a 3D. It give it a 3D effect. So now I'm going to go to the face and do the same thing. I'm going to add shadows where I think it should be mainly under the drips. Because the light coming from the top. So you want to do it under. You want to kind of make it have a, a real type feel to it when you're doing shades.
once you finish with all the shading and you got all that out the way go ahead and click the white the white paint because now we finna add highlights after you do the shading it's time to add the highlights so we're gonna go through the whole picture and wherever we think the light is hitting the most so it can have a so the drips can have this shiny effect so we're gonna go through the whole picture and start adding our highlights with the white There you have it man, how to make a grime using Photoshop. Make sure y'all hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and I will be seeing y'all next video. Peace.